how do you focus on generating alpha? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, um, it's a great question. I think when you think about um, m- many people, when they think about generating alpha, they focus on how do I become <laughs> a great trader to, you know, be able to call the next, you know, big change in Fed policy or the next big cycle in, um, in equities or things like that. And I think what I've seen over time is that, um, you know, that is not, that can generate reasonable returns at a point in time, but it's also very susceptible to luck. Um, and, you know, you can, many people get those sorts of trades right, you know, because they got lucky rather than because they have skill. I think the key thing to creating what I'd call is durable alpha, so alpha that you can rely on over time, is by creating edge or identifying edge. And edge is not big edge. No one has, there's no dur- durable big edge that's out in the world. And the reason why there's no durable big edge out in the world is because if there was durable big edge, the biggest, most sophisticated asset managers in the world would go out there and arbit away. And so instead, what kind of edge exists is um, the type of edge that exists in the world that's durable edge. I, I should say, I had a conversation with Meb Faber recently um, it's in the podcast I did with him. And we were sort of joking, like people talk about how they have five ratios or something, you know, 5.0 sharp ratios. And we, and it's basically like that doesn't exist. 5.0 sharp ratios don't exist in the world. Anyone who tells you they exist is either fooling you or fooling themselves or trying to fool you or fool themselves. And so instead, the thing that can be durable is to try and get a little bit of edge. Right? If you get a little bit of edge, if you are, um, if you are able to on the margin predict, you know, the earning cycle a little bit better than the market or Fed monetary policy a little or, or monetary policy a little bit better than the market, then what you do is you create all these little edges. And the way that you generate durable alpha is by taking all of these little edges that you have and uh, taking all of those things and putting them together in a diversified portfolio um, where you're not over relying on getting one bet right or another bet right. Because the very best managers, as an example, incredible, the very best managers in the world get any one macroeconomic bet right uh, in a month, 55, 45, or 60, 40, right? So if you think that you can get, if you think you could do better than 55, 45, either you have to believe that you're the, you know, one of the most talented and successful asset managers that has ever lived, or you're wrong. Like that, that's, that's the reality of the circumstance. And so It's important to then say, if that is the reality, how do I put on a bunch of bets that are slightly in my favor all the time in a way that creates a diversified portfolio in a way that, you know, I'm flipping the coin, the coin that's slightly weighted in my favor a bunch of times so that I get a little bit better on the upside than I do on the downside in order to get that edge, uh, you know, in order to get that durable alpha through time. And that's really what I found, what I see as that's the thing that creates alpha, or that's the, that's the way in which you can create durable alpha is by doing that thing, not taking big yo's on particular outcomes. 